Welcome back. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to, let's say, open up the cutting table, which you can find a download on the tutorial page, um, and open that up in Adobe Illustrator. Just a little bit of an overview about that, and also um, show you how to save it with uh, the correct rulers. Anyway, let's just get on with the tutorial. The one before this was um, how to set up your workspace in Adobe Illustrator for pattern cutting. So if you haven't seen that, have a look. It's really important. Okay, so first of all, as I mentioned, you'll find uh, a link on this tutorial page for the cutting table. Just simply click that button, download it, and save it onto your desktop, like I have done here. I'm just going to simply double-click that, and it will open up in Adobe Illustrator. And this is the cutting table, okay? As you can see, um, the reason why we've created this, there are a few reasons. So it's a very, very large space, huge space, in fact. Uh, it's actually about five, it's probably about five meters by five meters. So imagine this is your your workspace in your digital workspace in your digital studio. Okay, you have five meters squared to work with, so it's huge. Uh, on the left hand side here, we have a key. Let's just zoom in. And this is basically, we add this to, um, so any tutorial that you do, any pattern cutting tutorial you, you, you do using our website, whether it be a, a new style like an A-line dress or maybe you want to add a neckline or a, or a sleeve, all of our pattern tutorials have a link to the cutting table. And we do all of our tutorials on the cutting table. And we have this key on the left hand side here because when we finished our pattern we add things like notches, fold lines, grain lines, we even add a fill perhaps and we have points as well and grade lines, uh, sorry guidelines. And um, obviously when we're doing those tutorials I'll show you a little bit more about those but we're not going to focus on this, I'm just explaining the cutting table. On the right hand side here in the brushes, as I said, you need to set up your workspace. We're using the existing or the tutorial before this one. Click brushes and let's just move this out. In the brushes we've predefined some seam allowances for you and I will show you how to use those in a later tutorial. Okay, so those are all predefined in there for you, so 0.5, 1 cm, 1.25, 1.5, quarter inch, half inch and also 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. There's one thing that's really important about the cutting table, so every single time you download that new cutting table onto your desktop with each tutorial, um, you will have to make sure your rulers are set to the correct measurement. So I use centimeters, so in the last tool we showed you, but let's just do it again, so view, and then go rulers, show rulers. So if you right click, you see these bars have now appeared on the left and also on the top. If you right click, you'll see centimeters, millimeters, inches, etc. So if you're working in inches and you've created your bodice block using inches and your measurements are in inches, then simply just click inches and it will redefine those measurements. Also go to preferences just here and go to units and also ensure that that is inches as well. Obviously I use centimeters so I'm just going to change both of these back to centimeters. So as I was saying, this pattern cutting or this cutting table will not have these measurements defined. So if you want to work in inches f forever now, um, what you can do is simply then just go file and save as, so save this document on your desktop and you can call it, let's say, cutting table CM. Click save and just click OK. And we can also, let's just do one for inches as well. Let's go, oops, preferences, and then go to units and make sure that is inches as well. Click OK, and we can then save as inches. So now every time you do a uh, tutorial, you can basically, instead of downloading the one that's on the tutorial page, uh, you can simply pull up your custom version, which will have these already predefined or already set. Okay, So let's just close these all down now. I'm just going to go, yeah, we don't save that. File, open, and then cutting table centimeters. Click open. And here you can see it's in centimeters, which is great. And also the preferences should be in centimeters as well. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> nope, I must have obviously didn't click centimeters. There we go. Let's click CM. Just check these every time you use it anyway, just in case. Okay, so now we've got our pattern cutting table. Um, well, let's just introduce how we how do we actually get one of our basic block E patterns, which you've obviously created using your own measurements, uh, selected which design elements you want, like dart iterations, and then you want to basically get this onto or into Adobe Illustrator so you can actually start editing it and playing around with it. Okay, very simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into let's go into desktop quickly. Where is it? Date modified bodice block. That's the one. So I provided on the this tutorial page 
a download link for the bodice block. Now this is just a generic, um, let's say UK size 8 or 10 uh, bodice block, which you can use free of charge to basically yeah, pattern cut with, or at least figure, understand the tools in Adobe Illustrator, um, or which, which tools we use in Adobe Illustrator to pattern cut with. So just simply go File, so just download that to your desktop, and then go File, Open, Desktop, and then let's go to Bodice Block SVG, and click Open. Okay, so this is the block, and this is what all of our e-patterns look like. Okay, they're quite simple. They do not contain a seam allowance because we add that ourselves later. And as you can see, you can edit the lines. Okay, it's not a static version like the PDFs that we provide. Okay, and you can move them around, do all kinds of sorts of things. Let me just set these up as well. Great. So once you've opened your your bodice block or your your pattern in Adobe Illustrator, maybe you're using your own one. What we're going to do is we're basically going to select these items. And to do that, we have our selection tools. We have the big selection tool and the small selection tool. And we'll come to these a little bit later on and what they actually do in a different tutorial. But for now, what we're going to do is get our big selection tool, so this this black one here on the left-hand side, click it, and then click and drag over the entire two panels. And that will select everything. Otherwise, you can go select select all okay so we've selected everything and then next we can go edit copy and then we're going to simply tab over to our cutting table we can tab between these two and just go edit paste and here is our block now this is a full scale block it's uh it's true to life so you can see how big this cutting table is it is huge so you've got plenty of space to work with also in the last tutorial we discussed how to navigate around, you can do that very quickly here as well. Hold down the spacebar, click and drag, will allow you to drag around the page. Holding down command on your keyboard and plus will allow you to zoom in, and you can really zoom in, I mean, it's insane. And you can also zoom out, because you can be very, very detailed, or very intricate when it comes to cutting your patterns. Anyway, let's just zoom in. Okay, so that's essentially... Um, the cutting table and also how to introduce bodice blocks onto uh, your cutting table. So let's just close down this bodice block. We don't want to edit this one. This is our original. So let's close that. And then here, because we don't want to damage our cutting table CM, we're going to file and save this as a new document. And you can call this whatever you want. So the profile I used was 3C Francesca. So that's my model or the, the person that I used to draft this block. And we can just put bodice block tutorial. In fact, I'm going to put There we go. And just save it to my desktop or any folder where you want to keep that. OK. And just obviously click OK. OK, so in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you um, a little bit about measuring and marking. So measuring lines on this pattern, or measuring, let's say, this line from here to here, and also marking points. So measuring from this point and marking a point 5cm away from here. So we actually can start to, almost like you would do on a manual pattern, with uh, paper and pen and rulers. And also isolating curves and measuring along these curves and marking points along these curves. OK, so really interesting. OK.